what's going on everybody jake the happy snake here and welcome back to jake wants to be a millionaire yesterday i got the 1000 pound question wrong i was really tempted to use a lifeline and then i realized that i have not gotten through the first five questions all week without using a lifeline so i went with my gut and it was wrong so i won nothing for the second time this week and it was incredibly disappointing so yeah my overall total stayed at $75,874,442. Now, this is the last episode where I'm going to be playing the British Game Boy Advance version of Millionaire. Uh, this episode, episode 1160. Monday, I'm going to be changing versions, and I will be saying at the end of this episode which version I'm going to be changing to. I will say this right now. It is a version that I have played before in the series. I've played, I've played it in the past, but again, I'm not going to say right now. I'll say at the end of the episode. Um, yeah. So I'd like to win at least 250,000 pounds today because if I do, then I will hit the $76 million mark, and that would be a great way to end this era of the series. If I win 125,000 pounds, I'm, I'm going to be less than 1,000 pounds away from the $76 million mark, so I need to win at least a quarter million. So I'm going to try my best to make that happen. And today is Friday the 13th, which really scares me because the first Friday the 13th episode of the series was November 13th, 2020, which resulted in me getting the million dollar question wrong. So I do not want the last episode where I'm going to be playing this version of Millionaire to end in me getting the million pound question wrong. That would be terrible. I'm going to try to, I'm going to, I'm going to try my best. It would be awesome to win the million pounds on Friday the 13th. I'm going to try my hardest to make that happen. Here we go. The last time I'm going to be playing this version full time. Let's do it. Here is the last 100 pound question. A hair in which month is said to be mad. March. Okay, for 200 pounds, which of these is used for an infectious? Uh, young upper class man. Hooray, Henry. Alright. <clears throat> Here we go for 300 pounds. In mythology, what color was the fleece sought by Jason and the Argonauts? Golden. Going for 500 pounds. Which industry is ABTA, a professional association? Travel. Okay, that's 500 pounds. That is the, uh, that is, uh, that's good. Now we're going for 1,000 pounds. Which pop group shares his name with a phase of sleeping? REM! For the first time this week. I got through the first five questions without using a lifeline. That is amazing. Okay. Very good. I can't believe it took all week to do it. I, I was able to do this like consistently every episode, basically. And then this week, I've just been struggling. But we did it today. Let's get to the million. Here we go for 2,000 pounds. Which replies to a volcano that has not erupted for a while, but is not extinct. That is going to be dormant. Final answer. Yeah! Okay. All right. That is 2,000 pounds. Let's go for four. Which of these is a large flightless bird from South America? Yeah. Rhea, I'm pretty sure. Final answer. Yes! Woo! Okay. I want to make this the best episode of the week. So far, so far it is. 7 out of 7. All three live ones are still intact. We could make this the best episode. Uh, we could make this the best game I've had in this version. And that would be to win the million without using a lifeline. That would be incredible. Uh, in which city... Ah, crap. The independent radio station minister, FM based. I think York. Uh. 
ha ha ha. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Is it York? York, York, York. I'm gonna ask the audience. I just, yeah. I don't really. I'm just gonna play it safe. Gosh darn it, man! Ah! That is so infuriating, man. Okay, let's move on to the 16,000 pound question. Which artist coined the expression famous for 15 minutes? Andy Warhol, final answer. I will feel a little bit better if I can get through like the next like two without having to use another lifeline. We're six away from the million. Here we go for 32,000 pounds. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I got this question wrong recently and guess what? Guess what? I don't remember which one it is! I got this wrong like a week ago or something, and I said I can never remember. And I honestly, like, I, I, my memory is so bad. This one, I honestly, like, I, I just, ah! And there's no point of me trying to remember it now because this is the last, this is the last episode where I'm going to be playing this version, uh, full time. So I'm just phone a friend and get this out of the way, please, please phone a friend, please tell me you know this, please know the answer to this, please, please. Henry the Eighth. Okay, final answer. Thank you, Florida friend. Thank you so much. All right, that's thirty-two thousand pounds. We're five away. Got the fifty-fifty. So no matter what happens, this is going to be the at the very least the second best episode of the week in terms of amount of money that I've won. So that's good. All right, let's go for sixty-four thousand pounds. Here we go. Uh, how is the word hearts correctly abbreviated? I think it's HZ. And I'm I'm not risking anything because I'm sitting on a I'm sitting on a safety net. Um, yeah, let's try to save the fifty fifty. Let's go with HZ. I think that's what that's that's what the right answer is. Yes! Woo! Okay, good. That is 64,000 pounds. We still have the 50-50. We are four away from the million. Okay. Here comes to question 12 for 125,000 pounds. Which butterfly shares its name with a punctuation mark? Oh man, I don't know this. I don't think I've seen this question before. Um, comma, hyphen, colon, dash. Hyphen sounds like, comma, no, colon, no. I think hyphen sounds like, it'd be, it, 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 that sounds the most likely, but Let's play it safe in 50-50. Okay, we're gonna go with hyphen. Final answer. Watch it be stinking comma. Are you serious? There's a butterfly called a, called a comma? Are you serious? Oh man, I picked the wrong one. Why does that have to happen? Ah! Okay. Whatever. Oh man. All right, guys, so that is it. I am now officially finished playing this version of, uh, of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire full-time. I might, like, I probably will play it once in a while, like, in a, in a special episode, like I do with the Australian Game Boy Advance version. 
Um, but I am done playing it full time because I am, I mean, this week didn't really prove it, but I am pretty like familiar with a lot of the questions. I struggled this week, and I'm not really sure why, because I was on a bit of a roll. I was winning a lot of money in a lot of episodes. Um, I mean, I won a million pounds three times last month. So I thought I was getting really... That's why I decided to, just to stop, and then now I sucked this week. Like, I actually... Like, this week was terrible. Um, but yeah, that's it. I, will, I won't be playing this version full-time anymore. Um, 32,000 pounds is what I went today. That's converted to $32,000. And that brings my overall total to $75,906,442. So now on to the game that I'm going to be switching to. I am going to be changing to the Game Boy Color version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I'm very excited for this. I have played this game quite a bit because I do actually own this game in real life. I've had it for about 10 years. And like I said, I've played it quite a bit. I got really familiar with most of the questions. Now, I haven't played this game for about five or six years. It's been a while, so I'm going to be pretty rusty. But at one point, I was I was pretty good at the game. As a matter of fact, I actually have played this game on my channel before. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to part five of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I started a series in July 2018, a 10-episode series where I played this game, and I had a guest for most of the episodes. I think there may have been two episodes where I played on my own, but I had a, I had at least one, at least one guest with me, at least one other person with me playing the game, and I think I won the million dollars twice in the whole series, and it was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. That was, that was about 21 months before I started Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire, so... Yeah, I like to refer to that as pre-Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire, before the series actually, st like before Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire actually started. Um, now, I've been planning on playing this game for a long time. I think since like the third week of the series or something. Like, I, I, I had the idea of doing like a retro week where I would just play this game for one week. And then as I started to switch versions, I was like, you know what? I should actually permanently switch to that version. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing on Monday. So it's going to be awesome. I'm very, very excited for it. Uh, we're, you know, it's on the Game Boy Color, so the quality is going to be pretty bad. Um, but, I mean, the Game Boy Color was just an awesome system. There are so many good games on the Game Boy Color. I, I mean, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe is one of my favorite games. Pokemon, you know, Pokemon uh, uh, Silver is one of my favorite games. Um, my brother played a lot of Mario Tennis when he, uh, when he was a kid and Pokemon Yellow. Uh, you know, the Game Boy Color is a great system, and I'm just very, very, very excited to be playing this game full-time. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be going back to dollars, no more pounds. And, yeah, that's going to be on Monday. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. really appreciate it. I hope you all have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you back here on Monday for the first episode of Season 5 of the Game Boy Color version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Peace out.